So we have a big update for local breweries this morning. The stay at home order being lifted for the purple tier. So this impacts so many businesses here in town, including breweries they, that the ones that have food can open outdoors starting today, which is why this segment is now perfectly timed. Uh, we are talking about the first ever San Diego Beer News Awards, and we have the founder and executive editor of the San Diego Beer News with us, Brandon Hernandez, a good friend of mine. Good morning, Brandon. Hey there, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing a lot better now. I don't know if our viewers can see this big row of uh, beers lined up, but thank you for sending this in. Yes, <laughs> you are welcome, and I'm glad it comes with such a great fitting, nice time for breweries here. What a, what a great advance for them and ability to uh, maintain during these weird times. Oh, yeah, they've, they've had some challenges, but I do appreciate your updates constantly on all the local breweries, what they're up to, their new releases, and now you have this new competition. So let's talk about that. All right. Well, San Diego Beer News is a, a new site in itself, but we also have now the San Diego Beer News Awards, which is basically uh, taking all sorts of different beer styles that are produced within the county of San Diego and allowing the fans to nominate all of their favorites. It's just as simple as that. You go onto our Facebook or Instagram, and every day we have a different category that we're asking for nominations in. But all throughout the month, you can hit all the categories at once. So if we're asking for, say, your favorite hazy IPA, like all the beers you have there, which just <laughs> happens to be one of your favorite styles, oh, yeah. All you have to do is get on there and say, I like XYZ Breweries beer and put the title there, tag them, and we'll get it on the ballot for you. And the ballot goes out in February, February 1st to 12th on our website. You just go to sandiegobeer.news and there will be a nice ballot there waiting for you. All you have to do is pick your favorites. So right now we have, what, five, six more days for people to nominate their favorite breweries, right? Yeah, through the 29th so that I have time oh. to get all of those. I mean, we have hundreds of nominations. It's really, really cool. A lot of representation of small to big breweries. It's, it's, it's something else. And I know we're going to get into all these beers, uh, Brandon, which I certainly definitely can't wait to do. But um, <laughs> let's talk about the importance of, you know, having beer news awards. I mean, we want to support these local breweries in any way we can. You've done your part to just let people know what's happening in the beer world here. Um, you know, why should people get involved in this? Well, if they like beer and they like supporting local businesses, it's a great way to go. Because what we're looking for is just a really honest representation of what people are out there enjoying. There's all sorts of beer competitions that are either national, international, or even, you know, the San Diego County Fair has a great competition every single year, the biggest one we have in the county. But this is a way that everybody could get involved on a fan level, because a lot of those involve a lot of people, uh, certified judges in a room tasting beer one day and then uh, putting out their results. This way, it's kind of like, I buy that beer 20 times a year. I'm gonna nominate that beer. Or like, I love going to this brewery for this beer or for their customer service or whatever it might be. And you get to just really go in there and give them the love that you wanna give. And you find out you know, across the spectrum of all the people that vote throughout the county that other people feel the same. And okay. it's, just, it's just a nice way for San Diegans, for San Diegans by San Diegans, you know? Yeah, which it's so nice to do. We do it among our friends. You and I talk about beers all the time, and then now you can actually nominate, see them on a list. Uh, so let's talk about what we have here, because there are so many. Talk about these beers. Right. What, are, what are we looking at? Okay, you just go <laughs> ahead and take a couple of sips. All It'll right. get real fun to watch you do the news after that. I've never but, um, had so what we have drink. here is a I'll style you like that. called Hazy IPA, which is also known as New England style IPA. Uh, what it is, is we're famous on the West Coast for our really dry, clear IPAs, but uh, the trend that took over years ago are these beers that are fortified with wheat, oats, and uh, yeast strains that, that can be suspended in animation there and create this really coating mouthfeel and allow more than just the bitterness of the hops to come in. You get this fruitiness. So uh, you have Hazer's Gonna Haze there from Belching Beaver mm -hmm. up in uh, Oceanside and Vista. Right here, right Virgin. here. What a brewery that I know you like, Citra yes. by the Sea. That's called that because it's made with all Citra hops, and oh, uh, as the name would. implies, very oh citrusy in flavor. I literally, they sell out all the time. <laughs> I beg. But we beg. hooked you up. You see, we hooked you up. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> then we have a, a brewery in San Marcos, uh, uh, Dos Desperados, a really yes. great family-run operation. Hazy Daisy. It's named after the dog of the head brewer. Uh, it's got El Dorado oh. and Mosaic hops. El Dorado is kind of lemony. Mosaic's very tropical and citrusy, so you get a whole rounded out experience there. Mm -hmm. Five Suits Brewery, Planet Nectaron. That is named oh, after is. a new New Zealand hop. It's very in vogue right now. Uh, it kind of has everything under the sun going on with it. Tropical flavors, stone fruit flavors, citrus flavors, and it's all from that one hop. Oh. Meanwhile, Kilowatt in uh, Kearney Mesa and Ocean Beach 
Jesus, they have five different hops in there to make that experience occur. So they're more into blending a bunch of different hops together, as is North Park Beer Company with their Art is Hard, uh, a great way to describe brewing. It has a hop in there called Simcoe, which I guess described yes. as catty. I call it kind of grassy. Uh, it's, it's really interesting kind of flavor. I'll let you take where catty might be. But then Pariah Brewing has a much better <laughs> adjective, dank drank. That's dank, the one. I always describe dank as the drink. rock concert adjectives. Mm -hmm. uh, you might know what that means. When the lights go down, it starts to, <laughs> it, starts to it starts to smell a little bit like dank drink. Uh, I've had a few sips and they're all so, so good. I don't know how people are gonna pick their favorite, but we only have 15 seconds. Real quick, how can people take part? Facebook or Instagram, San Diego Beer News, or go to sandiegobeer.news. Which one did you like best? Um, okay, right now I will say dank drink, Pariah. Mm. Nice. <laughs>